morning everybody i am currently sat in our local beauty spot um up on our quarry it's beautiful out today um tim is out flying his drone but we haven't walked to the reservoir yet um the reservoir is at the top of this quarry and it's on a hill like that now i don't know as if tim didn't want to walk up there because his knees are bad i'm not really sure Anyway, I am currently sat in the car. I've just taken some footage of the birds singing for you to show you. So I don't know if you'll get that before or after. Um, I am sat in the car. I have got one arm to do of my mini hyacinth that I'm making. And I've made a start on my seven inch cotton rabbit. It is not a lot to show you, but I will show you anyway. So that's the, this is going to be the head. Can you see those two little um, pearl stitches? That is where the placement of the ears are. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done. So is at the back of me. Um, it says he'll try and get a little bit of footage for me so I can put it on today's video. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the beautiful beautiful weather the views the sounds of the birds it is so peaceful up here i'm look i'm at the moment looking at a little robin oh it's just flew off on the fence oh it's back again um i will try and get some footage of the birds but it's very difficult because they fly around so quickly um zach isn't doing so bad again today um I got up this morning, I think he had a bit of a restless night last night, he seemed to move around a lot. He sleeps in our bedroom, in his own bed at the bottom of the bed, um, and he seemed to move around a little bit last night. I did get up to check him, but he seemed okay, I think he was just a little bit restless. Um, and he seems fine this morning, he went out for a little walk, not too long, um, and he'd had enough, he wanted to come back, so yeah, um... That's the update on Zach, really. Just very much the same. Very slow. Still eating. Good sign. Um, and yeah, I'm just taking it every day, at a, you know, one day at a time. And trying to keep upbeat and busy. So, I'm just going to go now and enjoy the rest of my um, time up here. And just enjoy the sounds and the views. And I shall see you later. Bye-bye. I just wanted to show you my mini muscara. I've just finished constructing it. It's got two cute little eyes and a bit of a button nose in between a bobble, but yeah, best I could do, I'm afraid. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I am really into, at the moment, these small projects because my brain will not, it just doesn't want to think about anything heavy. Um, and these are just really nice. So I'm really pleased with that. So I wanted to show you. I am now going upstairs to choose some papers for my strawberry journal. Are you coming with me? Come on, let's go and have a look. So at the moment, I am just sorting out and printing some um, pages for my um, strawberry journal. I am next going to take um, this wooden plaque that um, you all saw me buy from Froome and this and I'm going to photocopy these two and then print them out so they'll but I'm going to do them on a smaller scale so they can be uh, journaling cards um, we've got some doilies here I've got some stained tea bags here I've just found a little bit of um, strawberry washi tape and this is some of the uh, the rickrack and ribbon that Karen sent me and these are some of the papers that I'm currently printing for my journal. Um, then I found this one, so I've printed that one. This isn't from a kit, that's just one that I found on the internet, as is this one. And then these two papers are what I um, stained well, you, call, you normally call it tea stain, but I didn't use tea. I used Kool-Aid that I bought from America. Um, let's go over here. This is one of the latest ones I've just 
Oh, isn't that one nice printed out? So I just wanted to show you what I was doing. It's very difficult to print out and get all your collections together and film at the same time. So I'll finish printing them off and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've decided to put together. And I'm thinking that I'm only going to do one signature, but it's probably going to be quite chunky. So watch this space. I'll be back in a little while with things to show Sorry you. about the mess, but you'll have to bear with me because I'm not good at recording like this. So I've got everything together that I needed for my, well, I think to start my junk journal. So the first thing I've done is my cover. My cover is made out of old um, Amazon packaging and it measures six inches by eight and three quarters and it's got a one inch spine and I'm just going to put one signature in there but I've done a one inch spine because I want a nice big chunky one because it's only going to be one signature. I don't know what made me change my mind but anyway I did. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reinforce the spine inside and out with masking tape. I do that and I've learned all this from watching YouTube's on uh, no, videos on YouTube, I should say. Um, so that's got to be done. But I'm going to do all this off camera because it would take forever and you'd be sat there watching me forever doing this. So that is my cover. Not much, but that is how it starts. These are what I've downloaded. So these, I bought yesterday a little kit. Um, that is going to be the centre. I Do you remember this? Well, I blew it up and put it on an A4 and then just did another print on the back of a strawberry recipe. And I'm going to have that as my centre page. And then these are just the downloads that I bought. If anybody's interested, I will leave the, down, the link down below to where I bought all this kit. It's um, a junk journal kit and it comes in PDF form and then you have to print it out on your printer. And I've printed mine back and forth with back, back and front with these. So these are, I will show it you better, um, you know, when I get going and, and I can film with me hand rather than have you on a tripod um but yeah i'm very new to this i don't know how it works so please forgive me so those are the kits that i downloaded and then i found these two on the internet i thought that was a really nice picture so i thought it's plain on the back so i'll just do some either um collage on there or put um i don't know what i'll do but i'll fill that in because i don't like plain white and the same with this one. I liked that, but I don't like it all white on the back. So, then are some of the papers that's going in the journal. And then I collected some of my old bits and pieces that I've got. So, this is the doily that I bought when I was in Froome that's going to go into the journal. And then this is some of my um, vintage ephemera. This is dated May 1932, Tuesday and Wednesday the 24th and 25th. Very, very thin, lovely paper, so I'm gonna put that in. And then this is out of a um, gardening book. I thought that was quite nice, so I'm going to put that in. And then this is another vintage piece of scrapbook paper. Well, it's not, it's out of a, um, a diary. Um, and this is 1915, so I'm going to put that in. Then there's some music paper that I've fancied on the edge. That's going to go in. Then this is a piece of vellum. I don't know if you can see, and I quite like that because, well, I don't know, I just quite liked it, so that's going to go in. And then just plain music paper, plain graph paper. These have all been tea stained before. Then I um, stained this with kool-aid that i bought it's actually a drink that you buy in america and, and it comes in powder form anyway i stained my paper with it so i thought that was quite nice because it was a strawberry color and then this is just a page out of one of my edith holden books that is very popular in the journaling world so that's my additional papers and then i've got some bits and pieces so i've got this little tiny mini doily 
and then a little envelope and a glassine envelope and I will this big one I will probably put together some ephemera ribbons stickers that kind of thing and let you decorate or whoever gets the journal decorate it themselves then this is just an, another little envelope that I can use as a tuck spot and like I say that doily all this beautiful ribbon from Karen and then I tea stained some tea bags um I'm not really sure what you do with these. You, I've never really used these before, but I saw somebody doing it. So monkey see, monkey do, as they say. You have to copy, don't you? Um, so I tea stained two tea bags. And then I've got some of this, uh, what's it called? Muslim, which I will decorate. Then we've got these nice little stickers. These, um, they're actually um, jam pot labels, but we'll find something nice to do. And I've also got a little bit of washi left that's got strawberries on. And then I have got this, let me put that in there. I have got these two pieces of fabric, which I will probably do ruffles and fabric flips with. And then I've also got a couple of cards here that I will um, decorate. I might put washi tape samples on for you. I don't know, wait and see. We'll have to see what we do. And then last but not least, I've got this gingham ribbon. So yeah, I've got all my bits and pieces together here. And my masking tape and my cover. And all my pages, my principal pages. So that's quite a good start on my junk journal, do you not think? Um, so yeah. Don't really know what else to say but there's my junk journal let's see how it progresses over the next few days oh and then don't forget i've got all my um beads and um these little love arts that karen sent me to make danglis with and i'm going to crochet some strawberries i might put that in as well so yeah, so I just wanted to share you, uh, share with you. That's what I've been doing all afternoon collecting this. So there hasn't been very much footage other than me doing all this. Okay, so for now, mind, he's, the, he's with me, Zach, again today in the craft room. I don't want to run him over. So for now, I'm going to go and I might see you later, but I might not. Take care. I've been in my craft room all afternoon and it is so warm up here. Um, sorting out papers and getting ready for journaling. I'll tell you what, what you don't realise when you do things like this, journaling, how long it takes. Because you have to find all the bits of paper and my craft room's got so many nooks and crannies with different things in. You have to find your papers, you have to print them and then I had to measure and cut out my cover. I found all bits and pieces. Let me just show you what I've... Oh, that's my blooming metal ruler on the floor what I've just found I've just found a piece of paper with all these strawberries on now that might be nice as the cover but I'm not sure can't make my mind up yet with that so I found that and I've also found some hmm, can't see because of the shadow so I'll show you I've also found some red and white paper clips which will be quite nice for in the strawberry themed journal and I've also found, honestly, when you're rooting around, and that's all I've done all day, root and mess, some strawberry buttons. So I think I have got plenty to get me going on this strawberry themed journal. So for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I have had a really busy day, um, but just doing things that I'd be so boring to you. I've, I've filmed as much as I possibly could that I thought you might enjoy. Anyway, again, thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you so much for all your well wishes for Zach. He's just the same. He's with me again, lay down here tonight. Um, he keeps trying, well, he does. He gets up the stairs and then we have to carry him back down again, but that's fine. Um, I have no idea what's happening tomorrow. Um, oh, no, I do. I'm going out for a couple of hours to see my son. But other than that, I have no idea what's happening. So yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings. So for now, I'm going to say good night and I'm going to get some wool, choose some wool and tonight I'm going to um, crochet some strawberries. All right then, thank you very much everybody and I shall see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye bye, take care, bye.